What's going on everybody? We're back here at my snake room. As you can see, and today we are pulling some snake eggs. Now I actually had four females lay eggs in just the past week. Now check out this artwork my buddy did here. Crazy. Hey! Hey! How's it going? What's Kids, up, brother? Boys, girls, and buzzards, how you all doing? You ready to see some eggs? I I, I, I've heard you had some success, buddy. Yes, sir. We got my boy Chandler with me today, and he's gonna help me pull some of these eggs. Let's go. It's very, very excellent. Where are we starting? I haven't been here in probably a couple weeks, man. Let's start off first. On. We'll start off with the jelly, the female jelly. So go ahead, open that container. Congratulations on all the success. Yes, sir. Oh, Ooh, those are a lot of eggs. Holy smokes, that's a beautiful snake. It is, and those are a lot of eggs. This Easy. is a jelly. Yes, this is a jelly morph. Now they call them the jelly morph because when these guys, when they're first born, they're actually the color purple, just like jelly. And as they age, they'll get more and more beige. Let's and see. they come in so many different patterns, right? So many different colors, different so many different highlights. patterns. And the cool thing about king snakes is they're always changing colors. Is this one of the bitey ones? Seems no, nice. he's good. Dude, that, that's a really pretty snake. I should probably get a king snake for my collection for education. Definitely. When we get... talk about all the native snakes. When these hatch, that one's yours. <laughs> thank you, brother. Thank you. All right, let's see how many snakes we got in here. So we're gonna grab this female. We're gonna put her in one of these holding bins, just for now. And this is super long, guys, look at this. Oh, look at all that space. She's only gonna be in That's here plenty. for about five minutes. She'd be perfectly fine and comfortable in the cracks of concrete sidewalk on the edge of the Everglades. So that's nothing for her, that's a nice comfy bed. All right, we're gonna see how many eggs we got here. Now this right here, this is our egg box. Now, I know right before these females are about to lay, they'll go into a pre-lay shed. So their eyes will get blue and you'll see them nice and fat. Now when they go into that pre-lay shed, I'll get some bins like this. What I'll do is I'll add sphagnum moss into it and that's gonna be their bedding so they can lay these eggs. I'll cut a little hole like so, so that way these snakes can go in and out and they can lay the eggs wherever they please. But almost 100% of the time, they always lay them in this little box. Now we're gonna do a count and see how many we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And let's see if there's any more. See if there's any more. Oh, we got more. Oh, there's two more. Oh my god. Thirteen eggs. Now that's a super big clutch for a king snake. Oh, look at that one. Typically, they'll lay anywhere from seven to ten eggs. So if you get more than ten, it's a good haul. Dude, look at this one egg. Right? This big lunker of an egg right here, that's crazy. Next to a normal sized egg. So, so much success with breeding them. Right? right? <laughs> what, what were you saying, that you can get more than one clutch in a year from one snake? Yes, so king snakes will actually double clutch. They'll retain the sperm that's inside of them, and after they lay this clutch, they'll automatically double clutch and become gravid again. So most of these king snakes I'm working with, the genes are actually recessive. So if you want to breed these animals and get a visual offspring, you have to breed a recessive gene to a recessive gene to get a visual. Now the codominant genes, you do not need another codom gene to produce visual codominant animals. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab some vermiculite over here. My favorite. And this is what we're going to be cooking the eggs in. Now the reason we use this stuff is because it retains moisture and it creates humidity a lot faster than the sphagnum moss. You're just going to fill it up. Now, the more the better with this stuff. It's not bad to have too much. Now, now you got enough vermiculite. You're gonna take the vermiculite over to the sink. Follow me, follow me. Got him. And you're gonna mix it with water. Now, people have their own measurements. One part this, one part that. I just do it until it feels about right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of water. and you're gonna mix it around. Now, you don't wanna to put too much water. If you put too little, it's always good because you can come back and you can add more. But if you put too much, you're gonna to have to start completely over. Now, we want this stuff the right consistency. We want this stuff kind of like a snowball. We still want it to be able to break, but when we grab it, we want it to clump in our hand like that. But when we touch it, it dissipates. Now that's exactly what we want. That means there's not too much water in here. We're gonna add a little bit more. A little bit more. Oh, okay. okay. That flare, that flare, <laughs> baby, that flare. Give, give right. us a whoosh. Give us a whoosh. Oh, oh damn. You want it about an inch and a half, two inches, halfway up the box. Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna grab your eggs. 
and you're gonna be very, very careful. Now you wanna make sure not to tilt these eggs in any kind of way. Very, very carefully, you're gonna get all the water off your hands. And grab each egg. There you go. Thank you. There you go. Now, most of these guys, they're actually fused together. Now these eggs, they're not like chicken eggs. They're not hard. They're actually very, very leathery. Now they're leathery because when these snakes, they're ready to break out, they use their little egg tooth and they'll cut a little slit in this egg and they'll pop right out. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these guys and you can see they all come up together. They're fused together. Now these eggs, we wanna get as much as the sphagnum moss off of here as we can because we don't want any mold forming or any bacteria on these eggs. We don't wanna get everything off, but we just wanna get most of it. The easiest way is just to blow on these eggs or you can use a little paintbrush and you get the little stuff off. But don't be scared, you can touch these eggs. You're not gonna burst them. They're very, very thick and very, very leathery. Now you're gonna take your eggs and once you put these eggs in this box, you're not gonna wanna touch them again. So you're gonna get them nice and deep and down and you're just gonna coat them up on the sides. Now this is gonna bring a lot of moisture towards the eggs. Now you guys can see this stuff is not wet. It's not wet. Now these eggs, for the first 30 days, they're gonna absorb moisture. And then for the rest of the 30 days, they're gonna expel moisture. So when these snakes are ready to hatch, they're not gonna have any of these dents in there. They're gonna be fully, fully bloated and they're actually gonna get a nice white color. If you guys come over here, I'll show you a previous clutch. This was born about a week and a half ago. If you guys look at this box, you can see that humidity building up on there. Now that's exactly what you want. That means it's nice and humid in here. But see how pure white these eggs are? Now when they were first laid, they were a little bit beige and they had a couple dimples and a couple dents in them. Come on, man. Quit, quit playing with me, man. Quit playing with me, all this genetic talk. Come on, man. Whip out a snake. Whoa. Yo, what are you about to do? We're going to put these eggs away. Now, when you're storing these eggs, you want to cook them anywhere from 82 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, and you're going to put them in a very, very dark area. A Florida native spider ball python. Is that a bumblebee? What is that? Spider ball bum bumblebee? This actually is supposed to be a highway ball python. Markings going down his back. Now, it runs in the pattern of a highway. I actually have one of these guys. If you come over here. Now, this is my male highway, and he's just a big puppy dog. I raised this guy from a little baby. And if you look at his back, you can see those splotching. And it looks like literally the middle of a highway. When I first got this guy, he was super, super beige. Now he's actually getting all these little black spots around his body. As he ages, he's gonna get darker and darker and darker. And he's gonna have kind of a cookies and cream Oreo look. It's gonna be crazy. That's a beauty right there. It's a beauty. It's a shame. Yes. It's a shame that some people would feed this to a king cabra. Now we're actually going to show you the female to this male. Now this right here, this is a pastel highway. Just like the male I showed you, but with the gene pastel added. Now you can see how much lighter she is with that pastel gene. I got, I got to say, brother, you got the nicest, smoothest, most colorful balls in the game. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I got some nice balls. What can I say? I bet you can't keep the ladies off them balls. It's hard. It's hard, let me tell you. All right, so we're going to finish putting these eggs inside this vermiculite. We're going to take these other two. Just like Chandler was saying, look at this egg. He's so much elongated oh. and so much bigger. He's special. Something about him speaks to me. When I was born, I had a misshapen head, and everyone said, hmm, I wonder how that's going to turn out. Look at me now. Look at you now. 1.6 million subscribers. Look at me now. Everyone who thought I was deformed from Zika as a young right. child. So we're going to mark down the date. Today's date is... June 11th. And Crockfest is June 26th. And Crockfest is June 26th. Oh, are you going to be there? Are you going to be there? You're going to be at Crockfest? I'll be there, oh, I'll be oh, there at Crockfest oh June 26th. We're man. celebrating for the Gario. We're going to be out there. Yeah. yeah. Indian Gario. Critically right. endangered. All proceeds will go towards the conservation of yes. the species. Go, go ahead, to Crockfest. You want to see me there? You want to see Chandler? You want to see everybody? Go to Crockfest. It's going to be a great time. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this bad boy on. Put boobs. <laughs> Boobs. We're gonna we're gonna put <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna put today's, today's date, which is six, eleven, twenty one. Right now we're gonna print that out. <laughs> what? What? It, it was all messed up, man. It was all messed up. What is all? Right, all right, all right. All right. Maybe you could just use a sharpie, okay? okay. Ooh, coffee. Oh, 
I'm always out. Alright, I lied. If you're a real snake handler, you don't need this. You know your snakes, okay? We're gonna grab these little guys, and we're gonna put them just right next to the other clutch. And we're gonna let these guys cook for about 50 to 60 days. Right around the 50 day mark, I come in here and I start checking these eggs. Now, right around 55 days, they start to hatch, and when one snake breaks through, most of the time the others know it's time and they'll break through the same exact day. So hopefully in a couple months, we'll be able to show you guys that footage. All right. Skeel! Skeel! Yes, sir. Yup, yup. Oh. Yup, yup. Oh. Brother, I need help. Come on. Uh, yup, yup. You know what that means? Uh, of course, we're made of villa. Come on, Ian, touch your right. Now, if you guys see all these king snakes, they're pretty big now. I actually raised every single snake here from a little tiny baby and I got all these snakes from Scott McFarlane he lives out here in Loxahatchee and he's basically the king when it comes to breeding these king snakes uh, due to sanitary reasons you're gonna take your old egg box and you're gonna get rid of that okay you don't you don't want that no more you're gonna grab a new one okay now what we're gonna do we're gonna pull the second clutch Ooh, this is a beautiful snake right here this is actually a hypo flame you can literally see her sitting on those eggs. King snakes are actually one of the only snakes here in Florida that will eat other snakes. Now their stomachs are actually elongated and they're designed to run in flaps. So that way their stomach is actually designed to eat other snakes. Now these guys, they'll actually take out a baby Eastern Diamondback with no problem. I got this snake at Daytona. Such a good mother. Two years ago. Chandler, you want to pull these eggs? Oh yeah, that'd actually be dope. Awesome. As much as I love holding cameras, I like getting close to the wildlife. Yes, sir. Uh, do we have our Mickey leg ready? I don't think so. We don't, but you're going to put the female in there. Okay. If Jay Brewer talks Easy, brother. Anything, it's all about distraction. Come on. We're going to do this as a team. Let me know when you got the... Oh, watch the head. Whoa, whoa, watch the whoa, head. Whoa, whoa. Watch, watch the head, man. Hey, Come hey, on. Hey, now. Hey, now. Delilah, let go. Come on. Please. Leave him alone. Leave uh. him alone. Uh. Leave them alone. Oh, they let go. It's the only way to get them to get off. Delilah, we're gonna have to. Delilah, get in there. <laughs> oh, oh. I almost dropped the eggs. And then we're gonna use this knife to break apart to move this moss right here. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, just, I'm just, just use your fingers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just use your hands. I'm just messing around, guys. Bro, these eggs look amazing. Look at them. They really do. They look nice. You're gonna get babies from each one of them. And uh, we're just gonna ignore all this, and we're gonna get her from yeah. Italy. Gonna not make a mess, you know. He's, he's going there like a meerkat, cat, basically. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good for. Don't lungs. breathe in that dust. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go get that H two O. Perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna get pulled over, and I'm like, Officer, I swear to God, I do. I, I'm a good cool guy. I'm a good cool guy. <laughs> I love the artwork in this room. No, no, you gotta. You, <laughs> you gotta. <it's, laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hurry up, put that water in All there. Right, put that water in there, brother. Exactly what Stone said. You don't want too much H2O. You just want enough. So just get it in there like that and then test it out. Start clumping it together. You know, he was talking about that snowball, how you gotta get like a snowball. Yes, He's sir. He's right. And mainly, you don't want moisture coming out of that. So once it's all sticking together and we know it's got enough moisture in there, we're gonna take it and grab it. And if any water comes out of that, that means it's too much water. You just want it moist enough like Stone was saying. So now it's all good. That should be plenty. That's this, plenty. This that's plenty. Be, and now we're going to safely transport this over there. Safely now. Safely. Hey, watch that crack on the floor right there. Oh, oh. <laughs> Did you trip me? Maybe. Rude. <laughs> oh, my ankle. Anyways, we only got a little bit on the floor. The floor looks fine to me. Yeah. The floor looks good to me. And if we need any more Vermicky light, there you go. Ah. All right, guys, let me make some space here. I don't want to break that. It looks expensive. All right. Oh, okay, then. Somebody hasn't gone to the gym today, huh? Nope, not yet. <laughs> no, nah, me neither. And I'm, I'm me neither. All right, so I'm going to make my little thumb indentation since these are individual eggs. The last clutch was bunched up, so Stone didn't have to break them apart or anything like that. They're just one big clump. He put them in there. So these guys are individual, just put them in their little areas. And like Stone was saying, we don't want to rotate these eggs because if you rotate these eggs, the oxygen bubble at the top of the egg, which feeds the embryo or gives the embryo life, will actually turn and the embryo will drown and then you lose your snake. So you don't want that. We don't want to lose our little babies. Oh, oh, don't want too much moss. A little bacteria is okay, but not too much. Not, not too, too much. much. Wait to see these guys grow up. Kind of looks like nugs, right? <laughs> 
that? No, I wouldn't know. Uh, no, that would be <laughs> reg. I'm going to put these guys in the incubator, which is actually just a slow area. Yes, and sir. honestly, that's perfect, dude, because... Florida snake, the weather, it's basically about the same when you keep them in a warehouse like this. Exactly. Yo. Who put all that for me? Yo, you're going to need this helmet, dude. <laughs> I haven't needed that since middle school. Uh, in class, I'm talking about, not the sports. I think we're good to go. There's no more eggs in there, so... Uh, you know, now it's just time to have fun. Nice. Wait, are there any more clutches? We got one more. All right, now we got our last and final clutch is a white-sided Florida king snake. Bro. The white sided. I remember when you got these and they're tiny little worms. Yeah, I actually got three of these little guys. Oh, they look good too. They look great. Bro, great success. I remember when you're getting all these king snakes and they're all babies and you're raising them up. I'm like, I'm right? gonna breed this to this and do that to that. And then now you're like, boom, now it's happening. Every like, look at that pattern. That thing is so beautiful. Absolutely oh, insane. Oh, you don't bite me in the face? You can see his sides are literally white and he only has pattern on the top. How many eggs do you think's in here? I think there's eight eggs in here. Eight? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna guess and say there's you only see six. Four, six, okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! 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 oh. oh. Hey. How many we got right here? Yeah, look at that, all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there's. We both won. Yeah, there's seven eggs. Uh, if there was an eighth, I would have been like, you, you must have counted. Ooh, where are you going? <laughs> you must have counted before this, and you got me. You know what's really cool about going to Stone's Snake House? Everywhere you look, there's a weapon. Bye, Stone Snakes. <laughs>